In this video, I'm going to talk about ticker symbol CTRM, Castor Maritime Inc. This is one of our favorite stock and we have been reviewing this stock on this channel pretty consistently. I want to do this review once again. It's a weekly review and I'll specifically talk about three things in this video. The first thing is the stock price point and the way the stock is trading at the moment. A little bit of technical analysis i won't go in too much deep into the technical analysis but uh, at a very high level how the price point looks like the second thing i'm going to share is one of the big big news that the, the that was announced by the company just a couple of days back the third thing i'll be talking about is one of the big big catalyst that is coming up uh, that can make an impact on the price and the stock the way the stock is trading so watch the full video i want to make sure that i share both pros and cons about CTRM so you can make informed decision on your investment. I'm not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence and research before you buy or sell CTRM or any other stock. CTRM is a penny stock and penny stocks have its own risk and rewards. You can make a ton of money in a very short period of time on the flip side you can lose them as well so do your due diligence. Consider subscribing to my channel so you get timely updates on the video. Click on the notification bell as well. Click click on the like button so this video can reach to more and more people your like will be very very appreciated i do a lot of research before i post this video and it takes me a while to post this and share this video with you all so your like is very very appreciated also share this information with your friends and family now without further delay let's talk about castor maritime the stock is trading at 75 cents as you see for one day the stock had a momentum the stock was up 12% or 8 cents on the last trading session on February 5th. Now let's take a look at what the five day chart looks like. It is going to be a flat chart. 75 cents, it started last week on February 1st. It ended with 75 cents, so more or less 2% up, but it's a flat chart, but it's not a bad thing. And I'll explain why because it had a very good volume. So the volume looks pretty healthy. The company does have revenue. I wanted to quickly share before we move on to the next uh, phase in this video. The company company has 2.79 million dollars in revenue in Q3 and I'll share more about how the company can bring in more revenue. The day range for the stock is pretty healthy as well. It was 64 cents and 78 cents on February 5th. The one year 52 week range is also between 11 cents and two dollars and 60 cents now let's take a look at one more thing what the company does real quick the castor maritime is a growth oriented global shipping company that is engaged in seaborne transportation of a wide range of dry bulk commodities dry bulk commodities are something that is not liquid so you can think like wood or coal or anything along those lines so the, the company deals in ships the, the company is in the business of shipping dry bulk commodities along worldwide shipping routes through their ownership dry bulk vessels. This company is a very new company. The company was founded in 2016, as, as uh, you can see on my screen right here, and the company is aggressively growing, and I'll share more information about that in a second. Before we move further, let's take a look at the volume. The volume looks pretty healthy. On February 5th, the volume was 288 million versus the average volume on 128 million. Volume is pretty on the high side. On February February 5th, the volume was 286 million, almost uh, uh, two and a half times more than uh, 119 million in previous trading session. As you can see, also the stock jumped up from 65, 68 cents range to 77 cents uh, range on February 5th. Before that, the volume was 165 million, and right before that, the volume was 157 million. Now, also consider that there were there was some restriction in some of the platforms trading in CT. CRM, including Robinhood. That also impacted the stock price and the volume as well last week. So I just wanted to note that as well. Looking at uh, the chart, chart looks pretty healthy. Let's take a look at real quick and I'll do a very, very high level technical analysis right here. If you see one day, the stock had a uh, spikes and valley in a very narrow price range, in a very, very narrow price range. If you take a look, it was 65 cents, uh, went up to 70 cents, uh, was flat for a while, went back up 
to 76 cents and closed at 75 cents. If you take if you take a look at the RSI, RSI looks pretty balanced as well. Uh, RSI is 60, so it does suggest a little bit of overbought condition uh, at the moment. But so it may can it may pull back the stock price a little bit uh, in the beginning session on Monday. But the RSI doesn't look over overbought as you see right here. It doesn't look like 85 or 90. It looks more like 58, 59. So the RSI looks pretty good. The volume is healthy. The stock is trading in a very, very narrow range. As if you take a look at the five day chart though, it started with 75, 71 cents, ended with 75 cents, 2% uh, up. But in general, it stayed within the boundary of, uh, it stayed within 60, 70 cents range. It did not go so down or, or so up. If you take a look at one month chart, it looks pretty good, 214% up. We started following this stock when it was here and many of our subscribers and, and viewers bought this stock at this price range, including myself, um, and the stock had a pretty good run. If you take a look at the six months chart though, it looks 277% up. And then there was the spike uh, as uh, around the time that we started following the stock and it had a pretty good run. I'm going to share two things. One of the thing, one of the biggest news and update that the company has announced on February 3rd that can help boost the stock price that I have seen historically at least. That does not necessarily mean that it's going to happen this time around as well, but definitely worth noting that. And the second thing I'm going to share is one of the biggest catalysts that is coming up for CTRM that you also want to note if you are invested in this stock. Now, the company Castro Maritime Inc. announced the vessel acquisition on February 3rd. A global shipping company specializing in ownership of dry bulk vessels announced that it entered through a separate wholly owned subsidiary into an agreement on purchase of 2009 Japan built dry bulk carrier from an unaffiliated third party for a price purchase price of 14.5 million. The acquisition is expected to be taking place the delivery of the vessel within the first quarter of this year 2021 before end of March and it is subject to the satisfaction of the certain customary closing conditions and uh, the company is pretty bullish. They are moving aggressively. The CEO is saying that we remain committed to our plan of steadily growth and fleet uh, of our fleet by announcing the acquisition of our second vessel shortly after the acquisition of our first uh, one. Upon completion of our recently announced acquisition, our fleet will consist of total nine vessels, which is a great thing, which is tripling the size since last summer. So the company is aggressively growing. They're buying more and more vessels. It's a shipping company, so more vessels means more revenue and more revenue means more profit and which is why the investors and the company and uh, and everyone around the company are excited about the growth of the company however it shows like it's a one employee company but they have subsidiary companies they have um they have consultants and the contractors who are helping out with this vessels and operations and uh, and uh, and the supply chain management and all that kind of good stuff now one more thing you also want to note that is castor maritime inc has 180 day extension from nasdaq and this is one of the biggest catalysts and i want you to pay close attention because it is a risk for the company to get delisted from nasdaq if it does not trade about the one dollar price bidding rule now they got the notice 180 day extension from nasdaq to meet the nasdaq minimum bid uh, price rule announced uh, when they know when they got this the company got the letter granting the company uh, the nasdaq stock market granting the company an additional 180 day extension until June 28, 2021. Now, so it is it is not right away. It has a few months. The company has a few months to trade about $1 to regain the compliance with the NASDAQ's minimum bid requirement. The company can cure this deficiency if the closing bid price of the common shares is $1 per share or higher for at least 10 consecutive business days during the second compliance period. So this is very important and I want you to note that. In addition to one more, thing I also want you to know that the company has been raising capital uh, they have raised capital lately uh, after they got the notice 18 million dollars on within a within the last month right after that they also announced the sh uh, stock offering of 26 million in direct offering and uh, right after that they also announced 15.3 million debt financing from a UK based I believe of uh, 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 institution uh, and uh, the company is using this cash into buying more and more vessels which means the company is bullish about their growth there will be Q4 results very soon and we'll be able to see there might be some of the 
uh, impact from the CV-19 or the health situation that is going on. So the company might, uh, the company might suffer, company's revenue might suffer, but it's uh, to be announced. So we'll look into it. I'll keep you posted. To recap uh, everything, the, the stock has great momentum, great volume. The stock is trading pretty strong at the moment. Uh, it also had a little bit of exposure. It had exposure in terms of uh, getting some of the restriction from Robinhood and other trading platforms in general the stock price is pretty uh, pretty strong it is not super super volatile for last five days trading session in terms of catalysts uh, the companies ac keep acquiring vessels there might be additional stock offering 180 day extension from nasdaq is also one of the things that you want to consider i'm not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence and research we have been following this stock on our ch channel pretty consistently and i'll make sure i'll keep you posted as well now subscribe to my channel for future videos and timely updates also click 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 on the like button because that is going to help me a lot and also share this video with your friends and family turn on the notification bell and write into the comment section if you have any questions until next time i'll see you soon